Hey guys, these are timeless another messages. So if these messages resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, you guys. That was for not something that's like a really alert. I'm getting the show um prison break. I think it's called prison break. I'm getting this energy of somebody's like breaking out of prison. Well, this could just definitely be a metaphor. If not, somebody probably breaking out of prison. Um, I don't know how easy that is nowadays, but somebody is like breaking out of a situation that they feel like it's prison because i'm getting like you're able to be free of a situation here not being attached to someone is freedom that is crazy i feel like somebody feels like they're in prison with somebody i think you wanted someone to let you go or you tried to wait for somebody to let you go but now you have to have you have to do it yourself or you have like a legit reason to escape away from what, whoever this is or whatever this is. I'm, I'm getting you like breaking free from a prison or something here. But I'm getting like this may have been something that you may have been planning for a while here. I'm seeing sunflowers. I'm seeing um, a black bird. This black bird keep flying past. But I'm strongly getting like somebody is getting a sense of freedom here it's like somebody was holding on to their energy or something here okay queen of swords knight of swords emperor here dang this queen of swords is like cursing somebody to fuck out page of cups in reverse page of wands here yeah i feel like somebody is like sending somebody a message but they're being vindictive and envious while they're sending some type of message here okay this could be somebody who is really obsessed with you or yeah somebody's probably really obsessed with you or you obsessed with them but i feel like the whole motive of them sending a message to you or you receiving some type of message is some type of vindictive and envious bullshit here. Somebody wants you to feel some type of way. This is somebody who you cannot trust anyway. I strongly feel like this is somebody who's trying to like be smart towards you here. Very childish type of energy here. I feel like this is probably somebody who knows that you want to break free from them and they're really angry about it. So they're going to try to do something very vindictive and envious or they did. I feel like you... Maybe this person tried to exclude you out of their life and it probably was like a, a relief. I feel like this was your way to escape whatever this person was doing. I feel like whatever this person did, I feel like you may be feeling very relieved that you, you want this person to let you go is what I'm getting here. Yeah, I'm strongly getting it. I feel like this is somebody who may have tried to put you in a competitive competition here. Yeah. But I feel like you you want this person to let you go. This could be somebody who's a player here. Yeah, but this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like you basically, you see the bullshit here. You may be, you may feel like this is a big opportunity for you to let go of this fucking person or you may feel like this is a great opportunity for you to escape away from this person here. I feel like that's what you really focused on. And this person is focused on you, whoever this emperor is. This emperor is focused on this queen of swords. This queen of swords is focused on this emperor. But this queen of swords see the bullshit of whatever this emperor is doing here. This is somebody who is cutting this emperor out. Okay, I feel like nothing can pass this person. I feel like... I feel like I'm strongly getting like this. Somebody tried to outsmart. I'm getting a very, it's, it's weird, but I'm getting a very loving type of energy here. But somebody is very immature about this. But this Queen of Swords don't play that shit is what I'm getting here. This Emperor, the way they handle a situation with this Queen of Swords is they may try to... They may have tried to test this person's intelligence. And I feel like this Queen of Swords don't like that shit. Okay. I'm getting a very chauvinist type of energy here. Yeah. Um, Empress energy on the bottom of the deck. So Death card. The Star in Reverse. Knight of Pentacles. The World. Four of Cups. Ten of Wands in Reverse. And a Chariot. Empress in the ace of pentacles yeah i feel like there is no opportunities with this empress here i feel like somebody didn't fumble the empress here 
I don't know what exactly this person has done, but we're going to get into this. This emperor, I feel like this emperor is focused on this queen of swords, but I feel like there is some type of ending here. I feel like honestly, this emperor is upright. This this could be somebody who is in transition and going through some type of spiritual transformation here with the star energy, but they're ha they're unhappy because something is ending here, okay? It may be this connection. This Queen of Swords is done with this Emperor here. Yeah, and I feel like it may be giving this person a headache here. The letters D and V could be very significant here. I feel like this is somebody who is in fear that somebody is really letting them go. Okay? Um, they're in fear that somebody is going to let them go because they may have, like I said, they may have fumbled this offer or they may have been procrastinating an offer to this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Swords is done. I'm strongly getting like done, done. This Empress, don't look at this as any opportunities here. This is the slowest night in the deck. This Emperor moved too slow or they really didn't make a move. So the cycle is actually closed out. Somebody is refusing to offer. Somebody is looking at the situation as a bad situation. I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords is don't feel like it because they feel like there is no direction in this connection here. I feel like somebody is just completely blocking this out here. This is too much stress. I feel like this is basically a breakdown of a connection here. I feel like somebody don't have no hard feelings here, but I feel like somebody may have tried to test this empress intelligence here this may have been like a karmic situation for his empress here yeah somebody's walking away this is not their wish fulfillment here yeah because some shit is just not adding up this person is like really sneaky or they're a liar or they're always scheming something underhandedly or they're always cheating or i mean this is not it's not goals is what i'm getting here it's crazy because I feel like both of these people are focused on each other. This emperor is like really unhappy that they're not able to give somebody an offer because something is just like closed out here. I feel like a cycle is closed out. Somebody waited too long is what I'm getting here. Yeah, I feel like somebody don't even feel like it or this emperor probably don't even feel like it anymore. It's pretty much done here. Queen of Cups, Moon in Reverse, Devil in Reverse, and the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. I feel like somebody is like really all up in their head about this. It, I don't, I'm not sure if this is a commitment or not, but somebody is definitely in a mental imprisonment about this commitment here. But I feel like somebody did this to their self here. Somebody is, the truth is, somebody is weird because after the cycle has closed out, somebody re realized the truth that somebody is in love with this Queen of Cups energy could be the same person here. Or this is a different fucking person here because somebody definitely is a player here. I feel like somebody is learning the truth that they're in love with somebody who has detached from them because they are a fucking player. Somebody was acting like they didn't want to give somebody an offer or they was out here fucking around or they were just out here being a fucking player here. I feel like somebody was trying to, somebody was trying to play a Queen of Swords energy or somebody who was very intuitive, clearly, okay? And that is not working. That was not a good idea because I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they're not, they don't want a second chance. They don't want to do over. This cycle is closed. Judgment in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Eight of cups. Ace of pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, this is over. I feel like somebody is confused because their sneaky ass ways did not work. Maybe this person tried to scheme some type of revenge or somebody really sabotaged a connection here. Basically, somebody just basically sabotaged the connection here. Judgment in reverse, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, this is something that's just not wish fulfillment. Somebody is completely walking away because there is no opportunities here. The shit is just not adding up. And this may be a big karmic lesson for somebody here. I feel like this Queen of Swords not playing no fucking games here because I feel like the Queen of Swords obviously don't see 
no opportunities in this connection at all whatsoever. I don't think this emperor here is actually showing it either. The emperor can be somebody who is very stubborn here. Hermit in reverse, king of swords in reverse, king of wands in reverse, and the seven of cups in reverse here. That was really not a wise idea, okay? It was really a poor choice on this person's end. Somebody fumbled their person here. And I don't even see, like, if, if it's a third party that's interfering, it's this person. But this person is going through some type of transformation here, but they're still unhappy because they really fumbled this. They fumbled this whole situation here. I feel like somebody wants to come and send you a message, but they're feeling defeated here. I feel like they don't have no type of power over this connection. Maybe they thought that they had some power, but I feel like you guys go head and head. I feel like this is like two heads button. You guys may don't see eye to eye here. This person is side eyeing and you looking right at their ass. So I'm feeling like somebody is feeling defeated in some type of energy here. Because you may be blocking their ass out. You may be looking at this person like a narcissist. You may feel like this person is very disloyal here. They lead with their stick here. Seven of Cups in reverse. You feel like this is not in a... You, you, you clearly see what the fuck it is. It's like this is completely a missed opportunity here. You have clarity that this is basically a poor choice. This is not really a good choice for you. Okay? I'm going to keep going here. I see this all the time where people kind of like fumble people who they feel like they can probably like take advantage of because you may be somebody who is very sweet, loving, very kind. And I feel like this is probably somebody who may have thought that they had some type of authority over you, but they didn't know that she was the queen of swords. I don't think, I don't think they knew that she was the queen of swords. I feel like that's like a surprise to this person. Three of cups. Now I see, yeah. So this person wants a reunion here, but I don't see no apology. This person wants a reunion with you. I feel like maybe this person don't feel like they need to, they need to give an apology. They want a reunion here, but somebody is feeling held back. There are some type of delays here. Somebody is probably saying no. I honestly feel like if this this is going to work, I feel like this is probably somebody who really have to put the work into this connection here. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, a Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles in reverse, and the Strength card in reverse here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is like holding back. From collaborating with somebody here somebody is basically walking away it's like somebody's walking away and somebody's um yeah somebody is just walking away and and working on their investments and just protecting yourself because this basically it's like a i don't think it's an empty victory i just feel like on one end one person just they fumbled their person Queen of Wands in reverse, uh, the Fool, Eight of Wands in reverse, Seven of Wands in, in reverse, Knight of Wands, High Priestess in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. I, I, I mean, I, I'm seeing there's some magic involved or some divinations. There's a mistress involved. It, obviously, there's a, I mean, it, it don't look like nobody is in a connection, but it looked like there is like a third party or a mistress involved here. That's a bad investment. Um, and that actually is having a tower moment. That is full of confusion and pain because there is some type of chaos that's going on in that situation here. Yeah, I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands energy here, 
they may have took a leap of faith either with this person. I feel like they may have tried to manipulate a situation. They got blocked. There was no progress in that. This person is feeling defeated in that situation here. Somebody was definitely on a passionate... Pre it's like somebody got mad because they didn't want to... It's like a third party got mad because they don't want to be with them either. So they're doing magic on a collaboration. They're mad because they can't get no photo. This is um, messy. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, what what's the point of this. Because these two, these two going button here. So this third party is like on the outskirts. This is like the outskirt. This is like the outside of the circle of trust here. Okay. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, whatever this is, it's no victory and success here. Somebody's not even interested in this third party here. I feel like this third party is trying... I guess they're trying to sabotage something. Something's already sabotaged without this third party. So if this third party think that they're trying to sabotage something, this emperor already sabotaged it their self. No thanks. The emperor don't need this person's help to sabotage. They can sabotage it their self because that's what they did here. Um, the letters that I have in this reading is DMVGPY, BKTJ, yeah you know what cracks me up is when when a third party come in and be like i'm going to sabotage your connection it's like listen here the cat just the, the 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 i can't even can talk the connection is already sabotaged because there is a third party situation involved or i mean it is already sabotaged from the get-go these per these people going head to head here. This is two people that's fighting, maybe intellectually or maybe in a spiritual realm or telepathically. These people are they're fighting. Okay, three of swords in reverse, page of wands, nine of wands in reverse, higher font, nine of pentacles here, and a tower here. So if a third party thinking that they're involved in some type of situation, they have nothing to do with any of this. They're just a third party. It's what I'm getting here. Three of swords in reverse here with this page of wands. So somebody wants a reconciliation here, but somebody is not compromising. <laughs> this is so funny. So somebody wants so somebody wants to contact this person. They want a reconciliation to have this commitment with this nine of pentacles here. But I feel like this nine of pentacles is like, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> somebody is not compromising here. It's like, no, okay? Yeah, and that's going to have a tower moment here. Somebody is trying to manifest something that may not actually come into fruition. Somebody is trying to manifest a reunion and somebody else don't want a reunion here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. I might do another reading after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like somebody is happy, single, self-sufficient on their own here. This may be causing a tower moment for somebody because it's just like, why play the games? Somebody probably just like sabotaging. It's crazy because they're upright. So it's just like they are they know what they're doing. It's not like they, they're lost or they're, they're having some type of struggles or something here. It's like they they cause their own un they cause their own unhappiness. It's no point of even talking about the third party. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody's holding back from having a new beginning here. Okay, I feel like somebody done is sabotaged. I feel like this connection is just pretty much sabotaged. Yeah. This is probably somebody who probably tried to put you in a competitive competition here and that shit fumbled. I'm going to pull from this deck here. Yikes. This is a lot. 
two of pentacles on the bottom of my deck here somebody's probably still juggling or they're still trying to make a decision here ten of swords four of swords five of swords four of cups queen of swords four of pentacles knight of pentacles eight of cups knight of wands eight of swords here yeah this is a complete betrayal here i feel like somebody is just like protecting yourself from whatever this is and walking away i feel like somebody this queen of swords this queen of swords is refusing this offer here what's the point What's the point of holding on to somebody who's going to sit there? Not a, not a pentacles again. It's just clarifying this reading. What's the point of holding on to somebody who's going? To, what's the whole point of dealing with somebody who is going to procrastinate anyway? So somebody is walking away with this Eight of Cups energy. Somebody's walking away from this Knight of Wands energy here. I feel like this Knight of Wands is actually offended that somebody is walking away from their ass. It's weird. I'm going to pull from, where are we at? 20 minutes. I'm going to pull from the lover's deck, the romance angels, because I feel like there is some type of love that's going on in this situation here. But I feel like these are two people, two strong-minded people here. I feel like somebody really tried to, the way this, this emperor probably handled the situation was... Uh, it was really not a good choice. Whatever this person has done, obviously there must have been a third party situation involved. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here. Okay. Retreat, past life, relationship, keep an open mind, unrequited love, trust, let go of control issues and honeymoon. Honestly. This is a, this is like one of them connections where you guys butt heads a lot and you guys may not communicate a lot. Um, if you guys do want to open this connection up, I feel like you guys need to keep an open mind, but something is unrequited here and it has a lot to do with trust. Somebody has trust issues and somebody needs to let go of control issues. These are these two people here. Okay. I'm going to get one more. Yeah, I, I I don't blame this Queen of Swords energy because I feel like somebody is like somebody play around in some type of play around in this Queen of Swords energy. And I feel like this may be somebody who is very intuitive and the Queen of Swords don't like that shit. Free yourself. There we go. Somebody is letting go to be free. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like somebody don't want to feel like they're holding their stuff back here. Playfulness. Very soon, an attraction here. Does it look like a commitment to me? It's looking like somebody is freeing themselves from whatever this is. It's just like an ongoing thing. It just looks like an in and out type of energy here. It's what I'm getting here. I'm going to pull from the meditation messages here. It's like somebody's just playing, you know? Nobody want that. Seven, seven, seven could be very significant. It's time to reap the benefits of your hard work. Rewards from your efforts, wealth, relationship, and career related blessings. Start a new project, hobby, or skill here. Okay. Seven, seven, seven is very significant here in this reading. So I feel like you are on a new endeavor. I feel like, like I said, prison break here. Aries in the 11th house here, Capricorn in the 6th house here, yeah, Aries Capricorn energy here, second opinion, somebody needs a second opinion here, you hate me but you are still watching, damn, mm. somebody hate somebody but they still watching them, it's looking like, <laughs> it's looking like two people are watching each other but y'all hate each other. Okay, Scorpion, fearless, loyal, and intuitive. Transformation, solitude, intelligence, death and rebirth, lust, sex, fertility, and power. Scorpio, okay? Somebody's in a Scorpion energy here. Yeah, I feel like that's that emperor here. This emperor is in their Scorpion energy here. This is somebody who may be in going through a transformation, okay? 
They're going through a death and rebirth is what I'm getting here. Somebody got big round eyes. Okay, somebody's in this horse energy, competition, heroism, independence, freedom, confidence, majestic, strong, willpower, travel, determination here. Okay, somebody's in this horse energy here. Okay, somebody got their nose turned up. Okay, I feel like that's both of y'all energy. I feel like you guys kind of like mirror each other energy. This is a Libra Aries. Oh, no. This is a Capricorn Aries. Libra, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. Energy here. Somebody's a goat energy here. Capricorn, desire, creative energy, tranquility, rivalry, aspiration, and faith here. Somebody's the goat. All right. You have a lot of energies here. Okay. Somebody got a small nose. So somebody is a goat, scorpion, and horse. Um, Capricorn and Scorpio energy here. Dang, cheetah. Somebody is in a cheetah energy, Aries. So it's an Aries, Scorpio, and a Capricorn involved in this reading here. Somebody is in this cheetah energy here, which is an Aries. Power, speed, and grace, divine guidance can help you connect with your intuition and inner wisdom here. So so. Whoever this cheetah energy is, this Aries energy here, this is somebody who um, can help with somebody's intuition, okay? Somebody is really just disorganized, okay? Swans, god damn. Swans energy, this is a lot of energy. So you got Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio energy here. Um, swan energy is the Libra energy, grace and beautiful, goddess of love, change and transformation so this energy may be so i got thin lips this energy i'm strongly getting like somebody this energy that you this this whole energy overall i just feel like it's it's a full of transformation here i feel like somebody just want to free yourself from wherever it is and i feel like somebody else is trying to, is going through a change and a transformation here both of you guys are probably watching each other, but both of you guys are are angry with each other. It's like you guys want to rush towards each other or jump in, but you guys are rude towards each other or you're bullying each other or you're both demeaning each other, cutting each other off. It's weird. I just feel like it's like a love-hate type of relationship. It's out of pocket. But I love you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. I hope um, you find these messages very helpful here. Again, these are timeless noted messages. If these messages resonate with you, likey, likey, likey. Subscribe, 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 you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.